you filming? Yeah. Oh, hello everyone. Guess what we're back at? Yeah. Physique Warehouse. Basically, what I'm going to run you guys through today is how to test your one rep max effectively. Yeah. Not just to test it. We're going to test it effectively today, right? So, what we're going to be going over is everything that I'm going to do pre, post, and after. Like, going all the way up to what we're going to be doing today, yeah? So, I'm going to try and hit something silly on bench, and uh, if you guys want to follow me, we can get started. So, let's go. Back over here. Okay, so, basically, we're upstairs, okay? I'm going to give you a full visual demonstration here, okay? So, basically, what we're going to do, before you do any benching movement, right, what you want to remember is that the bench itself is, is specifically dominated for your upper body, but you're using your whole body to generate power for the bar to go up. So we need to make sure our whole body is warm. What we're gonna do, we're gonna fucking firm roll. That's what we're gonna do, yeah? So, boom. Firm roller. You're gonna roll your whole body out, yeah? You're gonna roll your whole body out. Once you've done with your whole body, we're gonna go back over with the, the massage gun right here. This is from Smart Recovery Store. Use Lewis 10, get yourself 10% off, but, with these, I like to target my uh, my shoulders the most because I feel like that's one problem that a lot of people have. They don't warm their shoulders up enough, right? But then all you can do as well is just go over your whole body with one of these as well. Big ass benefit, but yes, we're gonna throw them off first and then we're gonna move on. Alright, basically, finished off with um, the fucking foam roller. What we're gonna go do now is just go over it again, of course, with the massage gun. I've got the, the little flathead on it because I feel like this hits the spot a lot more, but yeah, um, we're gonna see how this feels. Basically, it was a little too loud in the gym, so I'm gonna film it here, yeah. Uh, where was I at? Alright, so, how to test your one rep max effectively, right? There's multiple different things that you can do that will benefit it but it does also at the end of the day go down to preference it depends how you like to do this this is my way this is how i'm showing you and i feel like my way is quite effective in the sense that i've been doing it for a good while and it's been working so realistically i'm going to start off from the very start obviously we've just done the massage gun yada yada all that good stuff we're now moving on to what i like to do is um, pre-exhaustion you have to get the blood flowing into the muscles before you actually start the exercise so the muscles that I would like to be um, to be worked to straight away would consist of the shoulder and also my tricep. My chest, I'm not really that bothered about it because I, I am able to stretch my chest just as I start to bench. But um, my shoulders most definitely need blood in them beforehand and also my tricep for a little bit more explosive power, right? My go-to exercises for these would be um, single hand cable flies because I feel like I get a good contraction at the top and I can pump blood really quickly and really um, easily into that muscle group. And then also just rope pull downs, rope pull downs do the job, right? Just to get that nice contraction in my um, tricep, get the blood going there. So uh, yeah, I, you can use so many different um, different exercises yeah, for your pre-exhaustion, but these are probably the ones that I would go to if I was allowed to pick where, like which ones I want to do, you know what I mean? But um, give, give a couple different exercises a try. Maybe try use a, an exercise before you actually uh, do a bench, see how you feel about it. Because some people, they're like, oh, no, I feel too tired. But then some people will benefit so much from it. So yeah, give it a try. Moving straight into the bench now. What I do before I actually start putting any weight on is I stretch with the bar. So what you'll see me do now is just um, constant reps just with the bar, just to have a good feel of how um, it's feeling, get myself secured on the bench, see how I am. And it also just to warm my chest up a little bit for the movement that I'm going about to do, right? So uh, I would do that. And then also I would come all three grips. So usually I'll come close. I'll come probably around what you would say your, your normal grip is. And then I'd also do a wide grip just so I can pull this, um, so I can so I can stretch out my chest going into my shoulder. This this area, this portion needs to always be stretched as well. So that's the part I target with that. And then also I do these little leans, right? You'll probably see me do them as well. These little leans, just so I can put a lot more pressure onto this side and um, so onto the top half of your chest just to get it out stretch get it all loose get it ready um, once I've done that uh, 
the easiest way I've always found to go about it is if you pick a number, if you have a number specifically in your head, you want to get to this number as quickly as possible whilst you are warm, yeah? So there's a difference between what I'm saying. I'm not saying, let's say 140. This is just a number pulled out there, 140, yeah? I'm not gonna say go 60 kilos for one rep and then jump straight to 140 for one rep. That's not what I'm trying to say. I want, you need to be warm, but going up gradually, yeah? So um, you don't wanna tire yourself out on any of the, the any of the previous sets. So what I like to do is I like to go from 60 to about, from about, for about 10, 12 reps to then 100 probably for the same, about 10 to 12 if anything, even a little bit lower. And then I'll go 120 single, 140 single, and then top set. That's what I usually do, yeah? Um, because that gives me enough time to, to develop the different stages, yeah? So 60 kilos for me, that is just light, just to get the movement going. 100 kilos is all right, cool. This is a decent weight, but I just need to kind of get the movement right, see how explosive I feel. And then moving on to the 120s and 140s, these are my first singles. So this is where I'm gonna be, all right, cool. I need to prep as if this is my top set, yeah? You need to prep it as if you're, this is your top set because that is one of the most important factors going into it. It's because of, you don't wanna just feel like, yeah, look, oh, it's 120, yeah, whatever, but, 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 and then it gets to your top set and it's ridiculously difficult because you weren't prepping for it properly, yeah? So you wanna treat every single single, <laughs> you wanna treat every single as if it is your top, yeah? Uh, because th this is how, this is how it's actually gonna, it's gonna benefit you so much because you're gonna keep all your energy, you're gonna be prepared to hit a single because it's a, it's quite a different technique to doing reps, yeah? So you gotta, um, you gotta make sure you're prepped for that, yeah? Um, but yeah, so what I do, going back to mine, what I would do is 60 and then 100, and then it would be 120, 140, top single, right? So I'll pl I'm playing everything behind this anyways. Um, what I like to do specifically, uh, from about 100, I'll probably put my wraps on. Yeah, so just, just the wraps around, wrist wraps. Uh, obviously the ones I'm using here are from Strength Shop, go check them out. Bang the code is right there. Um, these are quite um, these are quite solid, they're quite thick wraps, right? So it, it keeps my wrist in a straightened position. So we want, I want my wrist to be constantly straight as much as I can. When I slip back here, that is when all the pressure, instead of shooting all the way down to your elbow so that you can get the best drive, it starts to be putting into your wrist, yeah? So it's coming from your wrist, therefore, the bar path is gonna be completely different to what it should be. It should be from here, right? If it's over here, you can see it's coming It's coming down here. That's, that's it's no good. You know what I mean? You're gonna get put off balance real quickly and you're gonna see in the video, um, I actually fell victim to this stupid thing, yeah? But uh, that was my fault. I, I did. I do know where I went wrong, yeah? But um, yeah, I put my wrist wraps at about 100 just so I can get used to them because they are quite tight. And then from 120 to 140s, I think 120 is just a single where I just have wrist wraps again um, and then I just go for it. But then when it hits 140, this is when I start to put on my elbow sleeves because right now I'm not competing. So I'd rather stay safe rather than like more than anything. So I do like to wear elbow sleeves. The one I'm wearing here, obviously from Strength Shop, they're neoprene sleeves and um, no, no, they're not. They're not even neoprene. They're, um, they're double ply sleeves, I think in this video. Double ply sleeves that I'm wearing. Uh, these, I feel they're a little bit more elastic, but they're super tight on your elbow. So you, you're, you're very safe. Um, whilst they're whilst they're on your um, elbows, but after after that's done, from the 140, it's that that's when it gets serious. So it's like you can either go for a top set or you can add another warm up set. In this instance, I went to to 160 after, and I thought 160 was going to be my cap for the day, just to see how quick I can move it. And then I, I then I went for 170, which <laughs> it, it wasn't it wasn't great, and I got stuck. And I know exactly where I went wrong. Um, my back did cramp as well. It was quite shit. <laughs> fell victim into the little wrist flick which was fucking horrendous it did actually hurt quite a bit but um but yeah overall this is probably from my from my perspective yeah the most effective way to build up to um a proper a proper single or like a proper like a pb for example you can do this with anything yeah i'll do another video maybe on squat and deadlift let me know if you want to see that in the comments below but um 
yeah so in my in my opinion it's probably the most effective way to go about it but it all, it all varies for different people you know i don't want to tell you guys to do it a specific way because it might not work for you but uh i say everyone should always give this this, this give this kind of method a try because from my experience this is actually is, is quite it's quite good i can't lie it's never done me wrong apart from <laughs> apart from this day innit? but um it's never done me wrong doing my all of my um my lifts like this i kind of follow the same process um to to a certain extent right but uh but yeah guys yeah i'm just gonna there's there's little clips gonna be dashed up and stuff but um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it should be just a quick little thing just to kind of run you through uh how i go about uh, all of my lifts and well no how i go about my bench press and um it might give you a little bit more insight on how you should probably go towards it in the future but uh don't don't feel don't feel fucking pressured into trying it don't have to if you want to try it please be my guest hopefully it amazes you like it amazed me the first time i tried it but yeah if anything yeah that, that that's pretty much that's pretty much it yeah okay cool i'm gonna stop waffling now because i know i waffle quite a bit but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you did just shoot me a comment down below or send me a message on instagram it's quite yeah just come on help, help a brother out innit but yeah guys anyways make sure to like and subscribe let me know what kind of content you want to see because i mean obviously i'm at the gym i can make whatever the hell you guys want me to i just need the ideas yeah but uh yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're having a blessed day I'm going to catch you in a bit. Peace.